Hello friends, in previous video I had shown you how to integrate a Stripe with your web application using custom checkout. In this video I will explain how you can integrate using session checkout. So let's get started. So I'm just gonna show you the demo and I'm just gonna click on pay button now. So processing is happening and then user will be redirected to success page. So you can see now from stripe.com it will come to our own website. You can see check slash checkout success. Thanks for the payment. So that is how you can process the payment using session checkout. It's very simple as compared to the custom checkout. So you should definitely give it a try. So here you can see on this web page, I have got another button pay using built in checkout. So in the previous video, I had shown you this button register and pay using custom checkout. And today we will see using session checkout or it's also called as built in checkout. So session checkout is very very simple when you click on this button what happens is that we contact our server and then the server will contact the stripe server and at that point of time stripe server will give one object called a session and in that session object all the information is included so what happens is that when the response comes back from our server it actually redirects to the stripes page and then on the stripe page customer can enter the credit card details and make the payment after the payment is successful the customer is redirected to your website so let us see this in action i just clicked on this one pay using built-in checkout and you can see right now we are on the stripe.com so that is the difference between session checkout and uh, custom checkout in custom checkout everything happens on our website but in a session checkout we re redirect your customer to the stripe website where the payment is done and here customer can enter all the details like credit card details, name, email, etc. and then click on pay. And once he clicks on pay, payment uh, is processed by the Stripe and then user will be redirected to our website. So let us see what is happening behind the scene. So here is the form. So when we click on this pay using built-in checkout, this API session, this endpoint is getting called on our server. So let us see what is in there. So in here what is happening is we are creating the instance of the Stripe on the server and then we are calling this stripe.checkout.sessions.create method with all the details like what customer is buying okay product details amount quantity and then mode is a payment here also we are specifying success url and the cancel url so if user uh, clicks on the cancel on that payment page user is redirected to our website and if the payment is successful he will be taken to this particular page so it is very simple session checkout as you can see just one uh, handler we have to create on the API side on our server. That's it. 